All right, guys. So uh, the guys at Brian Crowler, the other sponsors of the car, and uh, I said, hey, we're going to be doing a kind of a series where we go through what's in the car, why it was picked, just kind of walk you through uh, part of the process of, of making a higher horsepower Subaru. Um, if you're looking to like do it yourself, or at least you want to pick the parts yourself. Um, so we're going to start with one of the first things that I really wanted from Brian Crowler and um, they hooked me up with a really cool set. Um, these are their 625 plus um, connecting rods and they come in a really cool fancy topographic themed box. Um, and so we're going to open these, we're going to kind of unbox them and show you uh, what they look out, what look like fresh out of the box and then kind of make some comparisons to some of the other main rod uh, rods that are out there for Subarus, uh, mainly in West Coast, um, and kind of show you, uh, I don't want say why they're better, but why I personally chose them. Um, so we're going to get started. Alright, so we're going to open this box and kind of show you what these uh, the 625 rods are, and then we'll kind of explain what they are. Um, so we get our Brian Crowler sticker, NBC. Got one on the car. Actually, that looks different than mine. I got. I might steal that. Hopefully, Dustin doesn't mind. Uh, and then we're gonna look at these rods. Um, I've always liked the packaging that Brian Crowler uses. Um, I haven't gotten that many rods in, in boxes, but they always seem like they're gonna be pretty um, safe in travel. So we'll go ahead and lay these guys out. And the bags have oil in them, so we don't worry about rust or anything like that. All right, so they're in bags. I'm gonna take take one of these guys out. There's no reason to take them all out because I have to give them back. Unfortunately, these aren't going into another build. So here they are. They're uh, an HP Rod. Um, they're actually really light for um, the power that they're rated for. Um, the reason. We chose these for the build um, was because they come with the 625 uh, H steel um, bolts, cap bolts, um, as opposed to the ARP 2000s, which is a is a nice bolt uh, for a cap bolt, but um, you know you're really limited to how much uh, force you can uh, keep clamped down uh, and keep from stretching um, with the ARP 2000s. So we chose these. Um, the, the main reason I chose these rods um, is they're only 550 grams, which is kind of light uh, for Subaru, for a bigger horsepower Subaru rod. Um, the comparable Manleys, uh, the HTUF Pluses, which are just an H beam like this with the 625 plus rods, um, they are uh, 561 grams. So they're 11 grams of difference. Um, heavier, which you might say, okay, well, that's not that big of a deal, but um, we'll kind of go into what that actually means as far as when your engine starts moving at speeds and stuff. Um, but overall, um, they're pretty pretty nifty rod. They, they say they're rated to 300 horsepower per cylinder, um, which is, you know, great. That's plenty of headroom uh, to maybe run a bigger turbo down the line. Um, but we'll, we'll kind of get into some of the math of why these are a good choice. All right, so you, uh, I mentioned the 625 rod caps, right? Uh, rod, uh, these bolts up here that are caps. And so um, this is what happened on my last motor when it failed. It actually pulled the head um, off of this bolt and sucked it through the cap of the, uh, um, the cap hole. Um, so these are, this was was a, <laughs> a stock a Subaru STI um, a rod. Um, they're kind of heavy, um, but they're actually fairly strong for a stock rod. They can hold up to like 400 and something horsepower pretty safely. Um, this car was making about 460 um, and the rod just gave away and windowed the block and it was ugly. But um, so you can see just the difference here, like how much more beefy this guy is. Um, 
Not to mention this is made of much better metal than this is. So, um, you know, if you're building, building a pretty decent power car, rods aren't something that you want to skip on. Um, especially because, um, in my experience, it's probably about the most costly thing to fail um, because you're looking at um, completely starting over. Like I had to get brand new case halves because both of mine were had holes in them and stuff. So get some rods uh, and you know just shop around for what you're looking to do um, and make sure you find a rod that fits your what you're building. You know if you're wanting to build some high 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 horsepower car um, an H beam is probably not what you're wanting to go. I mean they're good for seven, 800, 900 horsepower, but beyond that, you're on an I-beam, which um, is a lot different uh, in the structure, and they also make it out of a different metal, um, as well as vacuum it out of, uh, all the air out of the steel and stuff while it's molten. So, um, hope you all learned something uh, about, about rod construction and what's important and what's not.